going on guys it is movie with movie gaming tv and today we are going to be talking about my plan of attack on day one what your plan of attack should be on day one when the game drops mlb the show 17 is less than one month away it will be dropping on march 28th you want to think about it it'll be kind of like march 27th because it'll be out at midnight make sure if you have the digital uh download to go and download it a couple days early you should be able to do that going to the library on your ps4 you should be able to download it from there but i wanted to talk about plans of attack on day one and what you should do on day one when the game drops what i'm going to do so guys please hit that subscription button and turn on notifications because i will be bringing you all the mlb the show 17 news leading up i'm still doing live streams of MLB The Show 16 if you're kind of just in total baseball hype mode like I am like I bet you are right now with spring training starting make sure to subscribe I've been streaming on Twitch and YouTube gaming at the same time all you have to do is be followed uh, uh, on Twitch or subbed on YouTube and you'll be able to tune into the streams uh, I'm gonna talk about two different plans of attack one That'll start out with is if you're going to be putting money on the game, I want to talk to those folks first uh, about what to do. And then secondly, I'm going to talk about, you know, if you're not going to be spending money on the game, kind of like your plan of attack. And this is especially if you're like new to MLB The Show 17. Maybe you watched the Cubs or the Cleveland Indians just have an amazing season last year. And you just, you're like, I have to go get a PS4. I have to get this game. I got to get back into baseball games. I'm going to teach you kind of the plan of attack that I'm going to take. <clears throat> now, guys, you're going to want to hit that subscription button and follow me on Twitch because I will be doing the biggest pack opening I can think of uh, to start the game. I'm going to do a $500 pack opening. We're going to open a ton of packs. Probably going to spend 200 extra bucks to get whatever player I want and have a ton of stubs off the jump so make sure that you subscribe to see that on day one and all the news leading up to it there is a stream tomorrow so you guys know that i'll be breaking down that stream and getting that news out to you guys on the channel but let's talk about the plan of attack for day one and guys if you're a veteran of the game please leave down in the comments below what your plan of attack is because you not it could help out someone that's just watching the video uh, help them out. Let them know what your plan of, of attack is. On day one, though, I do plan on opening a bunch of packs. If you're gonna spend money on the game, let's say you have a budget, you're gonna bust out maybe a hundred to four hundred bucks on day one. <clears throat> be careful opening the packs. Uh, <clears throat> really, a better plan would be kind of to go and get a couple play, put it on your money, go get a couple players you want out of the market, and let the market cool down for a little bit. Uh, for instance, like Mike Trout last year off the jump was like 150,000 stubs. You know, Clayton Kershaw will be like 100, 150,000 stubs. Players are going to be very expensive off the jump because they're not, uh, there's not a bunch of them out there in the market. And I kind of feel like the packs will be turned down. I don't feel like the packs will be super hot because people are going to be buying them and buying them and buying them. Everyone's going to want those new packs. Everyone's super hyped up at the game. So I completely understand how the packs might be turned down and if you get some good cards out of your packs you might want to consider flipping them off the jump especially the first couple days and then going back and getting them within a week or two for a lower price because cards are going to be the new cards are going to be popping there's going to be people like me with the big budgets and we're going to want those cards so we can create content so we can have the stack teams <clears throat> also I think a lot of the NL, and I think is the AL involved in that West Challenge? Maybe it's not. I think it's just the NL West. But those cards are going to be super expensive as well because with events this year, people are going to want to put in those cards. And you could probably balance out your team overall by using some lower overalls stashed away in your, your bullpen. Stashed away possibly the bottom of your rotation uh, as you meet the event criteria. Make sure... To check out the video on my channel that explains what events are and i really wish i had a copy of the game early so i could go through some of this stuff with you guys to have like a better background template but i am going to use mlb the show 16 to kind of explain what i'm talking about and you know if you just got the game this year you're just hyped about 
the Cleveland Indians or Chicago Cubs just like I just gotta play MLB again like I, it was an amazing ride last season I have to get back into playing MLB games this guide will help you out as well so I'm gonna open up a bunch of packs but be very careful out there if you're gonna spend your first hundred on packs it could go you know you could get a lot of different cards but you might not get the biggest value it might be better off just spend getting the stubs getting a couple of the cards you want opening a couple packs but then budgeting out a little bit better and then what I would recommend that you do after you get a couple of your cards is go and play a mode in the game called conquest now what conquest allows you to do is it allows you to take over areas and once you've taken over areas with your team then uh, you get diamond cards as you beat different teams and go across the map. So Conquest is very, very good to do in that regard. Now, guys, my goal this year is when I drop all this money is I'm going to try to get as many of the co team collections done as I possibly can so that I can show you guys what those rewards are. You know, so if, when you complete the entire Royals collection or Cardinals collection or Giants collection or Yankees collection or Boston collection, you guys will know what that reward is <clears throat> at the end of the day. So you know which teams to go after. That's where I'll be taken care of. But I'm sure what will happen very quickly as well is we will know what Conquest reward diamond you will get by completing the Conquest map. So that will be out there too. And then you can really go after those teams and start, or go after those players and start building your team. Now, if you get a better team off the jump with the money, it's going to make playing Conquest easier. And uh, it's it's not particularly hard to beat Conquest, but if you have a stacked team, it's going to be like simulation cakewalk type of thing. You're going to be able to cruise through it. It takes maybe one to three days to complete it. I don't know if that'll be a little bit different in 17, but I don't think it'll be too much different. So basically, if you're spending money, here's just like a synopsis of everything I'd said. If you're spending money, maybe hold out, let's say if you have a $100 budget, maybe spend 20 to 30 of it on packs, maybe spend 20 to 30 of it on getting the players that you want, and then from there, save the rest of your subs and get somebody out of the market later on. Um, <clears throat> and then go straight into Conquest and start playing Conquest. Maybe have some save for Battle Royale. And possibly try to avoid spending on NL West players because they're going to be super expensive. Give that, give the market a time, a bit of time to saturate. Give it, give it time to, um, give yourself time to buy those cards at a later date. Now, if you're not spending any money, I would still immediately I would hop into Conquest. That would be my first plan of attack for you guys. Is just to hop into Conquest and start playing that with your team. If you do that, you'll be able to get some diamond cards immediately. You start building up stubs. You'll get players. What's really awesome about MLB The Show 17 is after every game, when you finish the game, you get a reward card every single time, and I love that about this game. So that's pretty much my plan of attack. And also, if you're not spending money, you might want to go after Battle Royale. And Battle Royale, if, you, if you're a good player, you can go through Battle Royale and stack up uh, rewards. Usually, after if you can win 12 games before you take two losses, you can definitely pick up some good cards. So that's pretty much my plan of attack for you if you're going to not spend any money is definitely grind the heck out of some conquest and play battle royale if you're starting to get your team up there and overall start playing uh, head to head in the season so you can start getting your rating points up if you got a super stack team off the jump to go back to our first situation because you want to get that rating point that rating up as high as you can possibly get it and guys Thank you so much for watching this video. Please stay tuned for MLB The Show 17 content. It's going to be dropping all year. You know I got you on that. And be sure to uh, drop a like because we're going to do the biggest pack opening. We are going to be streaming and we're going to have the most people in the stream. That is my goal. I'm trying to get 300 plus in the streams this year. So guys... Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next video. And I cannot wait for MLB The Show 17. Peace.